AI is the ultimate pattern recognition machine. It may never become human-like, but it is going to extend life radically. It is going to be better than us at everything. It'll be a better therapist. It'll be a better husband. It will be a better wife. It will be so good because my core thesis is that all of life full stop is about manipulating my own brain chemistry in alignment with what evolution wants, which is for me to have kids to have kids. But as you said, it's easy to hijack that. AI will be so extraordinarily good at recognizing the patterns that we operate under. It will know exactly how to make us feel anger. That's what we want to feel. Clarity, certainty, mm -hmm. laughter, sadness, whatever. The patterns will be so easy for it to replicate. The world will bifurcate. On the one hand, you're going to have people like me. You go full transhuman. You are thrilled to be able to live out a thousand year life inside of virtual worlds where you are fighting dragons and exploring planets and it will legitimately be unbelievably cool. Then on the other hand, you have people that will be deeply religious and will see people that basically become a different kind of entity as an affront to God. There will be violence and how bad that violence gets will largely be determined by how economically disruptive the switch over to what will inevitably be a post-capitalist, post-scarcity world. Because one of the big things that I think AI is going to do, it will almost certainly drive energy costs to zero. And as soon as you drive energy costs to zero and have a first run of robotics, which are already coming off the line, so this will happen, you have free labor infinitely. That means that the only thing you're up against is resources. You could theoretically eventually run out, but given our birth rates are so terrible, I don't think that's going to be the problem. You can have anything you want, anytime you want, and it will so profoundly break our meaning and purpose circuitry, essentially all that matter in a human life. That's where I come back around to, oh, game development is going to become a whole thing because people will need meaning and purpose, but they'll have everything they need. So how do you create something that is sufficiently difficult, very engaging and enjoyable, but also hard and it makes you scale and push and all of that. And video games quite literally have optimized themselves perfectly to that endeavor. And the technology is now getting so good. You can create worlds that get bigger and bigger and bigger and more nuanced and complex over the years. There are games now that are being developed for five or six years before they launch. There's one game called No Man's Sky that's in its 10th year post-launch, just getting better. It's crazy.